I called this looking at possibilities and now I'm looking again because when I put it online someone said well it feels upside down to me try it the other way up so it's another possibility and when I looked at it I thought yeah it works this way it's sort of softer lighter Ah, uh, I had this problem then when I started working that my picture kept falling down on the board so I got a bit of tape made it into a little roll the sticky on the outside and I put that piece down there got another bit and then bop it stays in place when I looked at the picture I thought well the only thing that says it's upside down are the birds let's get rid of them so I got the scribing tool and I just gently scraped away and that's the beauty of encaustic art that you can take color away you can rework the color at any point in time so possibilities, changes, always there. Wipe it away. And now I've got rid of the birds. Onwards. To develop the picture then. And I felt that I could put more white into it. So I'm, I'm blending colour into the sky here. A bit speeded up. Of course you could put any colours you like. You could re-blend it in any way that you wanted. And then structure. So in order to make sense of this, Again, I'm rooting the structure into existing work. So what was there already, I'm just matching the colour and then working up into forms that I use quite often, which are these little castles. Don't forget your cup of tea. Always important to keep yourself hydrated. White. As I say, I'm, I'm thinking that putting white into this will lighten the image, make it feel airier. So some more structures, again castles, rooting them in, and flowing that background, the sky, or is it water, into the foreground, joining them up. Now I've been working on temperature 1 on the Stylus Pro, but I'm putting it down to 0, which is off actually, because I've scraped away the wax around the eye, and now very carefully I want to get white into this area. And I'm doing that initially by placing colour, and as the stylus is cooling down, then it's slower to melt and push the wax. So I can work right to the line without too much mixing or blending of the wax. And every time the point of the stylus disappears off your screen, what I'm actually doing is cleaning it. Clean. And I'm turning the image round and round so that the curve's always away from me because I find it easier to work to the curve that's away from me. Clean. Back to that curve. So you can create very sharp edges when you're working with quite a cool stylus. And that's a nice thing about being able to turn the stylus off. And I'm working the darker colour out into the lighter colour rather than the other way round because this will give a harder, sharper edge. Off camera I've already done a bit of work here on the eye and now I'm just reducing the amount of white so I'm scraping away white that was already there and then putting in the dark colour, the sort of black of the eye and again because the, the stylus is still quite cool I can work into a very fine aspect of it. Now I've put the stylus up to heat setting 2 because I'm going to fill this whole big area in with white but as I start working I realise that whoop, it's all mixing up best thing to do is to scrape the wax away using the scribing tool and then I'm down to the bare card again and whatever colour I put on top is going to stay clean it's not going to mix with what's already there remember to wipe the crumbs away they'll get everywhere so be careful I forgot the stylus was on too so you can see now that when I put it in the wax it starts to smoke this is quite important because that is really bad for the wax it's no way to work at all so what you need to do if it smokes is turn it down from two back to number one and give it time to cool down it won't cool down straight away it'll take a little while so now I'm cooled down and I'm going to speed this up just to fill this area in and I'm just putting the stylus into the wax and then spreading it into the area and of course it's staying clean or re relatively clean because I've taken all the existing wax out. So this is what I ended up with. Looking at possibilities, again, started first time like that, 
with the eye at the top, turned it upside down like that, and then changed it into that. So from this to this. And that's one of the great things about encaustic art. You can look at possibilities again and again and again and again and again. And I love doing that. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you stayed this long, be creative and I'll see you again. Bang, bye.